Hallelujah, hallelujah. Keep on praising him. Come on, keep on praising him. If he's been good to you, give him praise. If you're glad you're alive, give him praise. Hallelujah. You understand if you're alive, God still has purpose for you. Amen. Come on, give him God praise one more time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, you can be seated in the presence of our God. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Has this worship been awesome? Have you guys been blessed so far? Amen, amen. Well, I'm Brother Rasan, and I'm just delighted to have you all here. I'm telling you, this worship is life-changing, amen? This, this worship is literally life-changing. All right, well, my task tonight is to talk about the goodness of God. You see, indeed, she started off, us off with a song, but my job is to teach the Word. Y'all ready for the Word? Amen. I said, y'all ready for the Word? Uh, I can tell, I can tell. All right, well, I'm going to talk about the goodness of God, but before I want to welcome our online audience, let's give them one more welcome one more time. Amen. Amen. All right. My text tonight is coming from Psalms 34, verse 8. It may be a very familiar text to you. It reads, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blesses the man. Blesses the woman that trusts in him. Amen. And if you allow me to, I'm going to use this apple pie to talk about the goodness of God. Now, I know some of you guys might be hungry, but just forget that for now. We got a food truck afterwards, and those at home, maybe you can go in the kitchen when I'm done, all right? So just bear with me. Just, just focus, because I want to talk about the goodness of God. All right? But before we do that, let me just ask you, any apple pie lovers in the house? Okay. And listen, if you're online, just type in the chat, what's your favorite dessert? I know everybody doesn't like apple pie, so if you like sweet potato pie, banana pudding, ice cream, if that's you, can I get away? Maybe you like some other dessert. Any other dessert lovers? Amen? Okay, I got some excited brothers. They like dessert, all right? And, and I don't want to leave out those that I know some people don't like dessert. Is there anybody in the house that doesn't like dessert? Okay, somebody said pray for them. Amen. All right. <laughs> somebody, somebody seen apple pie said, man, Thanksgiving is close. Just wait, wait. It's not there yet. All right. All right, so here we go. I just want you guys to stay with me for a moment. Now, if I were to eat this apple pie, we're talking about tasting and seeing that God is good. If I'm going to eat this apple pie and not shove it in my mouth with my hands, I'm probably going to need a utensil. Can you say amen to that? Amen. All right, maybe you eat it with a fork or maybe eat it with a spoon, whatever. You're going to use something, right? And then even if I'm going to go a little bit further and I want to actually take part of it, I'm going to, I'm going to cut the apple pie. Y'all with me? Y'all with me? Okay, okay. But then I'm not done yet because we're talking about tasting and seeing that God is good. But then after that, I'm going to have to either, some of you guys might be scoopers, right? Or, or you're going to be a forker, right? So I'm a forker, right? I'm a, I'm a forker. I'm going to stick it in my mouth. But see, I have it in my mouth, but I say I'm start, now I have to start to chew it. All right, bear with me for a moment. I see some of you are wondering, is it good? It's good, all right? <laughs> now, listen, I'm not Jesus. So I can't multiply it so you can get more. So just trust me, it's good, all right? All right. But see, here's the thing. If you, if you stay with me, you would obviously say that in order for me to eat this apple pie, I had to take some action. Can you say amen to that? I had to take action. And see, that's what we did tonight. We took action because we want freedom, amen? Can I get a witness? We want freedom in our lives. Whether you've experienced freedom or you, and you experience it or you need it right now, you have decided to take action. Maybe you got the text message or the email blast or you've seen on Facebook, the Freedom Facebook page, or you heard Pastor Joel on Sunday announce tonight. You said you heard it and you took action. Give yourselves a hand for that. Online, we applaud you. Amen. But see... I hear the heartbeat of God. He said, oh, taste and see. He wants us to taste the goodness of God. Amen. So let's go to that second part of that verse. Oh, taste and see. I was talking to God. He said, I want you to tell my sons and daughters that I want them to see that I love them. Amen. God loves you all. I said, God, I talk to a lot of people. I share the word of God a lot of times. You always tell me to tell people that you love them. I think they know it. He said, son, they forget sometimes. Son, some of them doubt that I love them. So I need you to tell them again that I love them. See, as you taste the good of God, one of the things you're going to experience is his love. Now listen, it's one thing. If you guys have been in a relationship, you know, you could be with another person. You tell them that they love you, but you tell them that you love them, but sometimes they don't receive it. You know what I'm talking about? See, in order for us to get the, God, the love of God, we have to receive it. Amen? I, wanna, I want you to follow me right now. I want you to say this. Say, God, I receive your love right now. I want you to sit in and say, God, I receive your love right now. See, I want you to understand something. No matter what you do in life, nothing that you can do can separate you from the love of God. Whether you're down or you're up, whether you're addicted or you're not, whether you're in a divorce or you're struggling, God still loves you. Amen? 
And he's saying, I need you to receive the love of God. Amen? All right, so I got to bring my, I only have a little bit of time, and I want to share again, so I can't go over my time. Amen? <laughs> see, so let's go back to the top of that text. It says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Now, if you guys be honest with me, you know that at some point we have amazing bakers all around the world. We have people in every continent that can bake very well. But at some point, as they bake, the food will go out, and there will be more. There will be no more. Be, no, no, there will be no more apple apple pie. But I want to tell you this: God's goodness will never run out. Amen. So I just want to tell you: stay in tune. God has more goodness to share with you tonight. So make sure you get it all. Amen. Hey, thank you very much, y'all.